I grew up on a corn and soybean farm in northern Indiana. Growing up in the inner city, you always have a desire to want to do better. There wasn't this adamant, you're going to school. In fact, it was the opposite. My sister and I were told we're girls, we're going to get married, and we're going to have kids. We just did not have the financial stability for me to go off to college. I knew that if I was ever going to succeed in a big way in life, I was going to have to do it on my own. I was going to have to start a company. I didn't have money. I didn't have an education. I didn't have a bachelor's degree. I was not a chemist, <laughs> but I had a problem and I had a purpose. I started out as a dock foreman in Buffalo, New York, working the midnight shift, and I worked my way up to a terminal manager. One day, one of the VPs from Newark tells me, I'm sorry, Jim, we gotta let you go, and good luck to you. I'd been a stay-at-home mom for 13 years, but I went through a divorce. My house was foreclosed on. I watched them take my car away, and I was a mom of three kids um, with no, you know, car. I took the risk, and most people, most of my friends said, what are you nuts? What do you know about business? I spent 22 years in the Army, and uh, before I left the military, um, you, you know, I, I knew that I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I have no business background whatsoever, zero knowledge of the food industry. I was completing a master's in traditional Chinese medicine. I was a student and a first-time mom, but I knew what my daughter loved, and I knew what I liked and we wanted to share it with others. I remember being a young girl and my mom said to me one day, you're gonna walk in a room and it's gonna make you feel uncomfortable because people won't look like you, they might not talk like you, but you have to go in that room and you have to take your seat. I could have gone and gotten a sensible, you know, nine to five kind of job, but I just felt so passionate that this idea was going to work. You don't have to overcomplicate it. You're just knowing what you're doing and finding a better way. I found myself actually growing the company. I found faith. I found so many things that I didn't know really that I had. I didn't know I'd be a good leader, and I'm a great leader. That's been my overall intent and purpose to be an entrepreneur is to be successful, give back to my community and to my country. To start the day, I ask myself three questions. Am I guided by love? Am I serving a higher purpose? Am I helping to make the world a better place? Fundamentally, what I believe in being an entrepreneur is we have to invent the future we want to live in. I have wanted to prove that success is the best revenge, and not in a really malicious way, but just to say like, hey, you guys all thought I was crazy. And maybe I was, but it's okay, because crazy people are amazing, and they're the ones that get stuff done.